Well, the nation, of course, heads to the polls tomorrow, but behind all the millions of ballots that will be cast lies the Electoral College. And anything could happen in a race this close. And to help make sense of it all, we are joined now by Ken Mayer, a professor of political science at the UW Mass, an expert, of course, on the Electoral College. There are a number of paths to victory for both candidates, of course. We know this. President Obama does have more than Mitt Romney. This is a known fact. First, though, we want to talk about, we're going to take one step at a time here, uh, what we're looking at, what states we're looking at as key. A lot of people know which ones they are, but if we could break those down. Sure. There are uh, states fall into three categories. Okay. There are states that uh, Obama is almost certain to win, and there are states that Romney is almost certain to win. Uh, and then there are a handful of swing states, or not necessarily toss-ups, but states that are competitive enough that either candidate has some chance of winning them. And this map shows uh, the sure Romney states in red, uh, the sure Obama states in blue, and the competitive states in yellow or orange. And each candidate starts off with a base. Uh, President Obama has a base of uh, 237 uh, of these states, electoral college votes. Romney has a base of 191. And the task for each candidate is put together a group of states on top of this that gets them to an absolute majority of 270 electoral college votes. All right, so to get to that 270, what does Mitt Romney have to do? I mean, well, there's, there's, there's a couple different paths? Or there is are there... a couple of different paths. Uh, Governor Rom Romney uh, basically has to run the table of the large states on the East Coast, Florida, North Carolina, Virginia, and Ohio. And on top of that, he has to win at least one other state, whether Colorado uh, or uh, Iowa. It's possible that in this scenario, Wisconsin can play a key role. But, but basically, uh, Romney, because he starts out with a much smaller base, has to win almost all of the, the states that are in play. And just looking at that map that was just up there, you have Romney losing Wisconsin but still winning. Is it? Right. Uh, and maybe you switching places there with the 18 electoral votes in Ohio. Sure. Uh, Ohio is the key because Wisconsin uh, is still remains competitive. Most mm -hmm. of the polls show uh, Obama ahead. Uh, but Ohio has 18 electoral college mm -hmm. votes. We have have 10, uh, Iowa has six, uh, Nevada has six, and so you have to, they really do think of mm -hmm. how can they put together some combination of states that gets them to uh -huh. 270. And Ohio has been huge, but Florida too is a big one. A lot of people have talked to a bit about Florida being, being a big deal tomorrow too, getting people to the polls because of weather even. A lot of small things can make a big difference tomorrow. That's correct. Florida is really the, uh, the a key prize here because with 29 electoral 29, college votes, yeah. it's very, very large. Uh, and if Governor Romney doesn't win that, uh, that's about it. And so okay. this is uh, a key to uh, President Obama winning, and there are a number of different paths. Uh, again, Ohio is really central. Uh, President Obama has a few more paths to victory. If he loses Ohio, uh, Governor Romney really does not. Now, this looks like uh, President Obama has fewer states, but things like California, New York have so many, and the Democrats have always mm -hmm. secured those right off the get-go for so long for those who are maybe looking at this for the first time. That's correct. The, the biggest states here, California, New York, uh, Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. those are have long been key to Democratic uh, Democratic right. victories. And the states and the, uh, the mountains and the Great Plains, uh, there are more of them, but they have mm -hmm. smaller populations. Well, and it seems extremely remote, but just for a, a bit of a poli-sci lesson tonight, <laughs> In the improbable case of an electoral tie, could it happen? I mean, it, it could. Uh, an electoral tie happens when each candidate gets uh, exactly one half or 269. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is very, very unlikely, but it's not impossible. There are a number of different combinations. Here is one. Uh, that has President Obama winning Ohio and Wisconsin, but losing all of the other states. Uh, this would produce a, a 269, 269 tie, which would throw it into the House of Representatives. And uh, then it goes to who, which, who, who won the most states, right? The, each no, state gets it, one vote? Each state gets one vote, but the, what determines it is the vote of the congressional the delegation oh uh, in the House, and then the Senate would pick the vice president. Oh, my so, goodness. Uh, so we could have Romney and Biden in the, uh, as one and two. Uh, remote, uh, but not impossible. Yeah, wouldn't uh, that be something? And considering how things have been going in the, the Senate and the House, I imagine that would be kind of difficult. Well, and, and it seems less likely that there, we, we had this in 2000, but are, could we see popular vote go to one guy and electoral college go to the other? It's, it's possible, although it seems less likely than it, than it was a week ago. Mm -hmm. uh, Romney had been actually leading in most of the national polls mm -hmm. by either uh, narrowly or, or several percentage points. But in the last few days, 
uh, President Obama has crept ahead. So that, that seems uh, less likely right. uh, than a, uh, a match between the popular and the electoral college vote. But that's actually more likely uh, than a tie. I have to say, I had at least three people in the 40 minutes I was home trying to grab some dinner tonight come to the door, and it was the get out the vote effort. Is that the most important thing going into the night before? Uh, what are folks like you talking about? Uh, well, at, at this point in the campaign, it is all about turnout. Okay. Uh, very few people are actually going to change their mind uh, in the next 24 hours. Mm -hmm. And so in a close state, uh, the key is getting your people uh, to the polls. It's uh, always uh, interesting to be in one of these swing states, too, and play a big role, uh, yeah. as the voters will have the opportunity to do here in Wisconsin tomorrow. UW political science professor Ken Mayer, as always, good to see you. I know it's an exciting and interesting day for you <laughs> tomorrow, and we appreciate your time tonight. It'll be over soon. Yes, it will. It will be. Thank you very much. We sir. hope, right? Thank you. I, yeah, we hope. Thank you so much for being here. All right, and continue. Well, the Packers, they're 6-3, and three, but Mike McCarthy.